simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager (FRM), Part One of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management, and the theories that underlie their use. Risk management failures. Welcome to the eleventh lecture in the preparation of FRM Part One exam. By now, you must have realised the importance of proper risk management, and realised that the failure to do so can be catastrophic for the companies, as we have seen in some examples in the last lecture. In this lecture, we will learn how poor risk management can lead to failures. The lecture also discusses various points that should be forced while implementing any risk management strategy. Agenda. We will begin by discussing the role of risk management. We will then proceed to learn why there can be inaccuracy in measuring risk. We will also learn about the importance of properly communicating risk measures to the top management, who can act based on the information. We will then learn that risk management is a continuous process. Finally, we will end the lecture by focusing on the shortcomings and advantages of risk metrics used in risk management. Role of risk management. Let us begin our discussion by first finding out the role of risk management. It is to be noted that large losses cannot be avoided every time. The aim of risk management is not to avoid such losses; rather, it is to prepare for such losses and assess beforehand the potential impact on the firm. Substantial financial measures, in terms of allocating capital and proper contingency plans. Must be in place before such an event. Certain tasks that are involved in risk management are assessing risk from all directions and properly communicating these risks to the decision makers. Proper checks and measures must exist that monitor these risks and generate alarms in the event of any potential upcoming hazard. Risk management failure. Let us look at some of the reasons why risk management can fail in an organization. The first reason is the failure to measure risk correctly. That is to say, the company might not be able to quantify the risk properly. Another reason is that some risks might not be recognized. This can happen mainly due to ignorance and inexperience of the managers. 